In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called squaring and multiplying two by two matrices. We have two matrices here, A and B, and we're asked to find B times A for part A, A times B for part B, and A squared for part C. And we should also be on the lookout for anything that might be undefined. So I'll check for that as we go. Starting with A, we're looking for the product of B times A. So we're writing the matrix B first, and we're multiplying that by the matrix A second. And now that we have these written in the correct order, I recognize that the first here is of course a two by two, meaning I have two rows and two columns. And the second is a two by two, meaning I have two rows and two columns. And in order to multiply, I need the number of columns in the first to match the number of rows in the second. And since it does, I'm not gonna have something that's undefined. I can move forward with multiplying. And I'm starting with the first row times the first column. I would have a one times negative two is negative two, and a one times negative one is negative one. Then moving to row one times column two, I would have one times two is two, and one times negative three is negative three. Moving to the second row times the first column, we multiply zero times negative two is zero, and then three times negative one is negative three. And then that second row times the second column, we have zero times two is zero, and three times negative three, a negative nine. From here, we can simplify. Negative two minus one is a negative three. Two minus three, a negative one. Zero minus three, a minus three. And zero minus nine, a minus nine. So this is the product of B times A. For part B, we're multiplying the same matrices, but in the opposite order, we wanna have A times B. And so now I would write my A matrix first, and then my B matrix. And again, to check for undefined, this is a two by two, which is the A matrix, and a two by two, which is the B matrix. The number of columns in the first matches the number of rows in the second. So this is defined. And when multiplying, I'll again start with the first row and the first column. Negative two times one is negative two. Two times zero is zero. And then the first row times the second column would give me a negative two times one, a negative two, and a two times three, a positive six. Moving to the second row times the first column, negative one times one is negative one, negative three times zero is zero. And then the second row times the second column gives me a negative one times one is a negative one, and a negative three times a three, a negative nine. Once again, I can simplify from here. Negative two plus zero is negative two. Negative two plus six is four. Negative one plus zero, a minus one. Negative one minus two, a minus 10. So we can see that we have a completely different matrix when we multiplied A times B than when we multiplied B times A earlier. So we have found B times A and A times B. Lastly, we wanna find A squared. So A times A, we have both the first and the second matrix is the A matrix. And we multiply in the same fashion, starting with row one and column one, negative two times negative two is four. Two times negative one is a negative two. And then row one times column two would give me a negative two times two, a negative four, and a two times negative three, a negative six. The second row times the first column, we have negative one times negative two is two. Negative three times negative one is a plus three. And then row two times column two, negative one times two is negative two. Negative three times negative three, a positive nine. So we can simplify where we have four minus two 
is 2, negative 4 minus 6, a negative 10, 2 plus 3 would be 5, and negative 2 plus 9, a positive 7. This last one is our a times a matrix, or a squared, so we have found all three that we were asked to find.